Hello, Namaste and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to make a very special one pot rice recipe from the Avadi cuisine. To make tahiri, I am taking 2 cup of rice here. You can use long grain rice or biryani rice which has some aroma. And then we have some masalas and spices here, turmeric powder, chili, coriander powder, garam masala and salt to taste. Then cardamom, cloves, cumin seeds, peppercorns, cinnamon stick, fennel seeds and star anise. In veggies, I will be using some capsicum, tomatoes, onions, carrot, potato, three green chilies, some garlic cloves. So I had these vegetables in store. Mainly tahiri must have potatoes as per the recipes. Uh, you can use any combination of vegetables of your choice or whatever is available with you. You can go with broccoli, you can go with cauliflower. Or you can also go with the two vegetable tahiri like potato and cauliflower or just potato and peas. Also, I am using a cup of curd here, some ginger garlic paste and a cup of soaked soya chunks. This is completely optional. You can just use the combination of vegetables and make the veg tahiri. I'm using some mint and coriander leaves, one and three tablespoon each. Now I'll add the spices, the cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, then fennel seeds, and finally some curd, four teaspoons of curd, and grind all of it into a very smooth paste. Now we'll take a thick bottom pot here and add two tablespoons of ghee. There you go. And then add all the spices into this, the cardamom, cloves, cumin seeds, peppercorns, cinnamon stick, fennel seeds and star anise which we kept aside. You saw in the ingredient section. Add some green chilies and chopped garlic. And finally some chopped onions. And give it a good mix. The onions has to become a little soft. Okay. Now I'm adding half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Just we will mix it so that the raw aroma of the ginger garlic paste goes away. All right. And now we'll add the chopped tomatoes. Give a good mix. Now here I'm adding all the masalas, chili powder, coriander powder, turmeric, garam masala. And some salt to taste and give them all a very good mix. So the flavors are blended nicely. Now the tomatoes have become a little soft and mushy. And here we will add the potatoes. And just stir it. Saute for a minute or two. Okay. Okay. 
the potatoes are partially cooked now you can see it's blended very well in the masalas now I'm adding a handful or two tablespoon of raisins here this is completely optional I like that sweet crunch in the tahiri now I'll add the soft soaked uh, soya chunks give it a good mix all right now we will add the masala paste which we have grinded the mint coriander masala paste okay it has a very nice green color to the tahiri mixture and finally some carrots so you can add the rest of the vegetables which you have so i am adding just carrot here in case if you want to add more vegetables you can add it here little bit of water mix it well so that the masalas are blended well with the vegetables of water and give it a good stir okay and now I'm going to add some curd here just mix it well keep stirring it until the curd is blended in the masala mixture okay now I'm going to add the soaked rice I've soaked the rice for 30 minutes now I'm adding it in the partially cooked vegetable masala mix it well so it's giving a very nice aroma of the masalas, the coriander, the mint leaves. It's giving a very nice flavor. All right, now it's time to add some water. So I've taken two cups of rice here, so I'll be adding three cups of water. I think two would be enough because I've already added some water here. there you go the last cup mix it well don't forget to put some salt here it's very important while cooking the rice you just add some salt in the water and mix it well so that it's nicely blended okay now we'll leave it to cook So it's been 30 minutes now and my rice is partially cooked. I've topped it with some capsicum. I like it raw and crunchy. Here we go. As you can see, it's very colorful and giving a wonderful aroma. You can see it will take some 10 more minutes to cook and we are ready to serve. And here is my wedge tahiri. It's ready and on my plate. I'm going to have this with some tomato, onion and garlic chutney. It's a very different recipe of a chutney. There you go. And some plain curd. And this is my first bite of the tahiri. It looks so lovely, colorful. With a lot of veggies, a lot of flavors. So what are you waiting for? Do try this recipe. Share your feedback in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.